I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 285, Some Select Across the Link Category. I also sincerely appreciate Dennis on taking me up on the offer that I've given all of you to ask me any question that you may have about Quantrix, and I will try to answer it here for free on the podcast. And Dennis has done that. He sent me a file, and I want to share with you the problem that he asked me. I don't understand French, but Quantrix is universal, and I think its simplicity is universal as well, and it's a thing of beauty that even though I don't understand uh, this model and what it says, because I don't, unfortunately I don't speak French, I can still help Dennis with Quantrix because it's, uh, it, because the Quantrix skill certainly translates across cultures and throughout the world. How about that for a sales pitch for Quantrix? Dennis has here two matrices. In one, he has some dates and he has some versiments. I That's French. That's like North Idahoan speaking French for you right there. If I do a Google Translate on that, that is payments. And he then has another matrix and he has certain dates on it and he wants to bring in the payments here into this column and he's got a formula to do that but it's just not working right for him one thing to note here is that this category here is linked also into this matrix for this category again the items or the these parameters here are also uh, linked across the categories. So with those linked categories, when you're writing a, a select statement, you have to make sure you specify the category that you want your key list and your value list to come from are equal to a sum select. I want to select the value, but because these are linked, I have to say I want it to consider in my value list the entire array of items within this category. So what I do is I say DLT, whatever that category name is, and my key list also has to be across all of the items within that category. Because if I do not do this, and I'm calendar date is going to be my key list, because if I don't do this, what happens is because they are linked categories, Quantrix would only consider the record that I'm on. And I can show you that probably in the dependency inspector here after I'm done. So, and what is my lookup value here? It's going to be calendar month is what Dennis said. And so when I do that, I get a pound size error. And the reason I get a pound size error is because I need to also tell it to go across the category here. And you can see that 101, indeed, 101, it brings back that value. If I see 121, it will bring back the value for 121, which is this value here. I guess that's the column I'm looking at 101 and 121. Okay. Uh, the reason why 7-1 of 2018 doesn't come back is because 7-1 probably isn't in here. Sort of sending. Yeah, 7-1 2018 is not in here, so it comes back with a blank. It's not being found. And if I were to look at the dependency inspector now to show you what's going on with that formula, because I'm using this category and telling it to go across the category, it goes ahead and lists all of the items. Again, if I were to copy this formula and I were to paste it and I were to get rid of this category here, then what it's doing is it's only having one item within my value list and that one item within my value list and with, within my key list is the item that I'm on. So if I was on item two, it would only be looking at 
this cell or this record. So if I wanted to look at the entire range, I need to qualify it and make sure that I include in my formula the category that has uh, the array for which I want to uh, look up across. If you have any questions about Quantrix, I hope that you'll follow. I hope that you'll follow Dennis' example and that you'll send me an email and a model and ask me what question you have about Quantrix because I really do want to help you for free and I really want you to be a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by. QuantricsAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.